Hello everybody, Corn here and welcome to my channel back up in the craft room because I thought I'd show you the other things that I got together for um, remember to put with the swan um, small journal, the accordion fold one and remember most of that is uh, coral, pinky coral, gold and mint green and um, there were other little goodies I wanted to send to Gina and I apologize for it taking this long but as um, most of y'all know I have a lot of other stuff to do too and but when I had time I would come up in the craft room and get some things together now this you've already seen the little mini file folder but I am going to put a few more um, pieces of paper in here um, make it just a little bit fatter um, you all saw what was in here you just didn't see how I finished it and um, I just held it up and said I'm thinking about doing this that and the other <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me that ain't pretty and um, what I did here was um, just do the I have a crop -a dial for the corners, a little bit of lace, a little bit, these little flowers are from Hobby Lobby, then a little bit of um, resin dots there, and that's how that came out. You all saw, again, what was in it. You just didn't see how I finished it, and um, that goes like so. And I have a, underneath this flower, I have a small scallop circle punch. And then this is a punch to these little flowers. And I just put two together, a little bit of bling. And you all saw, I just had this sitting here. And then I went, um, I get that gold, metallic gold um, poster board at Hobby Lobby. It's a... Uh, you know it's poster board size I don't know the exact size but it's big and it's like less than a dollar so and then I just come home and cut it up and um, then I did this uh, I, I love oval dies and that's a nesting die and so I did that um, fussy cut this little swan out you already saw and you saw I have a video up on the bows that's been done for years but I do like them, and I don't have um, bow dies, and so I like doing them that way. And then just a little tiny bit of trim so that the swan can have a, uh, a ring of roses around its, uh, a wreath of roses, I guess you could say, around its neck. <laughs> I mean, haven't you all seen that when you've looked out and seen the swans upon the water? Haven't you seen the roses around them? I mean, hey. <laughs> um, then I did this hidden, huge, as you see, that's how big it is, this hidden paper clip. And I got to use those flowers if you were with me on, um, I think it was our last uh, video. Mm -hmm. um, they were right here, and I was like, I'm determined to use them. I did back them up with a piece of cardstock and then cut around it. And this little die is from... Amazon. I love it so much. Out of that same gold poster board. Fussy cut the little swan out of some paper and then put the little, boy you have to really cut to get those tiny little roses out of that trim. And then this glitter green paper, as you can see, it doesn't have tons of glitter on it, but I like it. That came from Hobby Lobby when it was half off. And that is on the paper is um the top paper it has little hearts on it and then the paper underneath you know how you do the two layers that's the avocado dyed paper and then this little die i used to trace around my um lace the holders and then cut them out and make these with those but I went ahead and on Amazon I got this wonderful die it comes in several sizes 
and then put a little piece of lace here and then I cut out these leaves in a, in a lace that I had dyed with paint and this is cut out, this little rose is cut out from rose trim from Hobby Lobby and I wanted her to have some, she's probably, since Gina's a swan lover, she probably has this already but if she doesn't or if she's used it all and would like some more, well here it is, or if she'd like to give it to someone else, I understand that too. Put a little lace up here. <clears throat> excuse me again <clears throat> excuse me y'all it doesn't cool is it it's not pretty but it's natural so and then tied it with this uh, very narrow ribbon I got from Walmart and then again another little piece of that tiny little rose from the trim then I also made her this uh, tag and it tickled me, whoever did the little black dots on these um, little stickers, put always put one right there. You know what I mean? Evidently the brush was large or something. <laughs> and um, there's that ribbon here. And then die cut. This tag is die cut. And a little bit of lace at the top. And then a bow. Doing a lot of bows with the swans, have you noticed? <laughs> Speaking of bows with the swan, <laughs> there is a bow paper clip, which I put, yes, do you recognize it, guys? That's from the last video. This is the material from that blouse. And if I'm not mistaken, Gina wrote and said she thinks she has some, either the exact same or something similar, so I know she likes it. So that's a matter of putting this on the little bow on the paper clip there gluing it here um, cutting and unraveling some ribbon that has a loose weave here a tiny drop of lace can you see I don't know if that's showing up two little roses here then the heart was already on this bag I cut out out of that fabric this heart to place over it and applied fabric tack on it um, some lace Behind the lace is um, is a mint green satin ribbon. And then I have this little trio of roses up there. And inside of here, she gets some of these guys. But since I try to keep them as flat as possible, especially since I've got everything else going on, these that she's going to get has the wing, has a little foam under it, and the swan itself has foam under it. So I have that and then you all saw this one already do you remember y'all saw this one and then I did <laughs> I wanted her to have um, these little swans with the crowns that are glittered gold do you remember the look let me see is it showing up the look on this with their eyes closed is darling look at the swans look on their face ah, I love it and um, then I just put um, this paper on with the double-sided tape and then I put my fabric tack down and then there's that blouse again and you know how you take your fingers and give it a little you know gather it a little bit and then have a ribbon rose here that yes comes from a thrift store and then I also made this bag. This is paper from Hobby Lobby, not cardstock, but paper. And I made this. I'm not going to say what's in it, so in case Gina, God lover, has come by to visit, um, she'll get a surprise. And um, this swan, I fussy cut. It was gifted to me by Tree craft on here on YouTube and these little gold leaves I've had for several years they were gifted to me by Trina cuz Tina cuz Kazarian I don't know if I'm saying that properly years ago and love this paper that the mint paper with the gold dots oh I just love that and I took a nesting die of 
postage stamps um, and did that then on the inside of this because I saw that a little bit of the white was showing I took uh, the sponge sugar distress ink and went underneath there this little clip I don't know where I got the clothespin but there's that fabric again made a bow out of it you know made it thinner again tore it again and then put another little ribbon rose up there and this rose that is a ribbon rose but organza ribbon I don't remember where I got it but that's what I have to send off with the journal and the card and I thought you all might be interested in seeing them finished <laughs> because quite a few of you all are telling me how much you love swans that swans just you find delightful swans make me smile and like I said mainly for this the story you know the ugly duckling so that's that's what I've been working on and that's why things normally I try to send things out well I always send things out as soon as possible but normally it'd be quicker than this but I'm like mm -mm, I want to send her some extra goodies since I have them and um, let me put these over here and I'm going to put these over here and I just want to say let me sit down now <laughs> it's been 11 minutes I just wanted to say this is a hidden giveaway and remember when I had showed you all in my Dollar Tree here's a little bee ring why don't I have on my bee ring there's my bee bees and bunnies you know what I'm saying they're my thing bees have been my thing as you all know if you've been with me a while that that's nothing new they're so popular this year but they've been popular with me many many years anywho back to the hidden giveaway since this is a hidden giveaway you cannot say in the comments below please enter me you can't because that gives it away and I know no one that my subbies want to give it away um, I know that a lot of people here in the States have and in Canada have Dollar Trees and they don't need some of these items or they love these items and they have some at home but they don't have a Dollar Tree close by to where they can just go get them anytime I don't either by the way I don't have a Dollar Tree in, in my area I have to go next town over two towns over three four towns you know what I mean that type of thing and I don't do it often anymore since the pandemic and everything but you cannot write in the comments below please enter me number one you have to be 18 or older number two you have to be a visible subscriber of mine I do have a few people who are like me their settings are put on private and they have been with me for years guys if you want to be in your journey because I know you've been with me for years you do not unsubscribe to me you stay with me and I appreciate that more than you know and because of my appreciation, I'm having this hidden giveaway. There are also some people who have told me, I have never seen that at my Dollar Tree. I wish it was at my Dollar Tree. Why do you have the good things at your Dollar Tree? Well, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm just going whenever I do go. Like I said, I don't go often these days. used to go quite often. So you've got to be, let's go back. <laughs> I keep interrupting myself. You've got to be 18 or older, visible subscriber. You have to put in the comments below since a lot of children are going back to schools either soon or they're already in there you have to tell me especially most like 99 percent of my um, subscribers are crafters be it crochet um, needle arts paper crafters you have to tell me who even if you have like a hundred of them you have to tell me a channel, and I am not fishing, I promise you, I give you my word of honor. Who on YouTube do you learn from when you watch their channel? You know what I mean? That you're like, this is a really good teacher. 
Um, they may be a good teacher to you because they fast. They go boom, 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 boom. They even know how to, I'm going to fast forward through this so it doesn't bore you. I'm going to do this. Or you might love them because they take an hour and a half to show you what they're, you know, something that they want you to, to learn. But who, it's got to just be one. Don't tell me I got that, 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 one. Okay? Just tell me one down below and please disguise it my subbies who have been with me a long time know when I have a hidden giveaway they are so stinking clever they you know what I mean they don't just say my favorite teacher on YouTube is doodle pop no 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 no, no. you know they say you know corn um, watching what you made with the swans reminds me of mm, you know so-and-so's channel um, I really think she's a good teacher or he he really inspires me to not only do what he's doing but do it a lot different and a lot more or what have you but you know what I mean just a good teacher okay that's what you need to put in the comments below and you also need the other thing I'm saying 18 and older visible subscriber your favorite uh, one of your favorite teachers on YouTube um, I'm saying it over and over because I can't write it in the description box okay because it's hidden now like I said there are people on here that I know don't have certain items in their crafting area of their Dollar Trees some people don't even have a Dollar Tree nearby they've got to go really far I have to say this before um, I don't like saying this, but this is this is quite a few things, so it's going to be U.S. only, and I apologize for that. I try not to do that all the time. As you see, you saw me doing napkins and little things, stuff like that, so I could send them elsewhere without it costing me a fortune. With all the giveaways I do, you guys, my postage bill is loony, okay? Um, I'm sure yours, uh, if you do a lot of that too, uh, you look at it at the end of the year and you, I scream. I really do. I literally scream out loud. So here we go. Speaking of swans, you will get, everybody had a fit over these. They just love them. They said corn, yum, yum, yum. The winner will get a pack of the swan napkins. You can't get any more shabby chic than that if you ask me. That is so shabby chic. Love them. You know I did the card for the swan journal in it so this is one thing you also get the winner will get these the starburst gem stickers and guys I might have to fold it because they're so long I might have to fold that okay and please winner understand because they are separate and that would be okay I made a point <laughs> might cut it or whatever but you know what I'm saying Okay. You will also get <laughs> these stickers of the little cacti. Yee, look at the cats. So cute. You will also get, let's do it like this. You will also get these stickers, the heart jimmies. I love them, and I think they're for all the time, not just for Valentine. Speaking of hearts and pink roses, you will get a sticky notes and a ball pen set. You will get this fat quarter. You will get some fabric in pink and gray, which reminds me of not the not the design, but the color combo reminds me of my maternal grandmother who not only put pale pink with gray, but also lavender with gray, and it is yummy. You will also get these stickers because so many, let me see if I'm, yeah, I'm in, I was going to say, let me make sure you're seeing what I'm putting down. A lot of my subbies say, I love anything coffee because I love my coffee. Remember, I don't drink coffee, so I'm like, eh. but here's the cool thing. Maybe you aren't. It says tea. It's, look, it has tea with the tea bag still in it, so you know what I'm saying. And it has donuts. 
and it has a cupcake with a strawberry. Now, who wouldn't want a cupcake with a fresh strawberry on top? I know I want it. You'll get this bling, which is called Jewel Border Stickers. And again, guys, I might have to cut the top off. Or These are joined, but I might have to fold them. I might have to fold them, guys. I don't want to, but I might have to. You will get these darling little glass beads. How precious is it to get tiny little seed beads and glass for a dollar? How cool is that? And look at your colors, too. Yum, yum, and yum. And as I said before, they are fantastic on your... Um, you can have them on your safety pins or on your bulb pins. And I always say it like that because when I say it fast, it sounds weird. Okay? You will get these craft clamps. And guys, especially if you're doing journals, other things as well. And you want to hold the page, like say you're putting in your signatures, and you want them cute, because I have ugly ones too, but these are cute pink ones. You know, put your papers together, and then sew these. You can use them for so many things. You will also get, <laughs> you will also get crazy cats. And these are your little um, notes. From Crown Jewels, your little um, sticky tabs. So cute. And they have such smart aleck looks on their faces. Remember, I'm trying to do as much pink as possible, but I do throw in some cute stuff too because some Dollar Trees have tons of cute stuff and some of them don't have any. Speaking of cute stuff, see the hedgehogs and an apple and a bee, and the bee is a little fat bumblebee. Love hedgehogs. And you will also get some spray, pump spray bottles, two of them. These, you know, come in handy for many, many things, especially mixed media, actually. And working with your dyes and stuff. You will also get finger protectors. Ooh, you know that hot glue, you know what I'm talking about? Ow, each. Well, these are 100% silicone and will help your finger. You will also get some sequins. Ooh, pretty. You will also get the Baker's Twine because there is that deep pink here. And you know we use this for so much in crafting. But you know, Halloween's coming up not too far away and there is your lime green and your purple which would be perfect for those projects. You will get a stylus or an embossing tool, they're calling it, in pink and white. And you're going to get small and medium ends. You will get your foam tape, they're calling it pop dot tape. And it's a quarter inch. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. It's a quarter inch, a half inch. Okay. You get three different. Sorry, guys. You get three different. You're going to get this double-sided tape. Um, I haven't used the Crafter Square yet, but a lot of people, when I showed this, said, I love it. I use it all the time. So, that's pretty cool. You're gonna get that glue and residue eraser that people told me. I paid more than a dollar for mine when I got it at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Other people have told me it works really well. So you're also gonna get that. You are going to get just yarn. And remember, Hanson made a joke about the best because that's the worst to get it. And then you're going to get this one, which is just cotton. And we found out that this just cotton also has 15% polyester in it. <laughs> but it feels like it's just cotton, you know. And yes, everyone drooled over this. And I don't blame you because the chenille, it feels like a little bit of heaven. Love it, love it, love it. 
This one has 65 yards, this one has 104 yards, and this one has 131, okay? And last but not least, you will be getting the piercing and the scoring tool, which we call the piercing tool, the pokey tool, okay? And that's what's in my bag. So, this is what the winner will get. And remember, guys, keep it on the down low, babies. Don't, I think that means, I don't know what that really means. Does that, I think it means it's a secret. Oh, I hope I didn't say anything bad. Keep it a secret. I think that's what that means. Shh. Now, if you want to tell, or if, no, just keep it a secret. <laughs> and we'll see. This time we'll see who who enters, okay? Okay, guys. Seriously, thank you for staying with me. Thank you for being here. And that means more to me than I can say. I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care.